How's it going guys? I am Star Jake here once again with a brand new video. And here today I am going to be showcasing some of the rarest items within my music collection. I know it's been a good minute since I've really made a video like this. I recently got a job and with that job I don't really have as much time to do videos but I still have ideas. I'm still making content so don't worry about that. But it has been a minute so I thought I would come back with an interesting one. In this video I'm going to be showcasing CDs, a couple of cassettes, and a movie. I am not showing every single rarity in my collection because, trust me, I have a lot of them. I would rather wait with some of them and then make a separate video, if that makes any sense. But these are, without a doubt, some of the rarest items within my collection. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have a limited amount of storage on my phone as of now. So the first item on this list, and this is a album that a lot of you are probably going to click off the video once you see what it is but this is a diversive collection this is not primarily what the collection is consisting of but this is a band that a lot of people hate and it's an album that people hate as well so the album is none other than Let's Start a Riot by Blood on the Dance Floor. Blood on the Dance Floor is a band that you either love or you hate, and this was a band that I really loved back in middle school. I would always refresh eBay and see if I could find any of their hard-to-find albums. This is an album that I have never seen for sale on any website before. Throughout all of my time as a fan, I have never seen a copy of this album for sale online, and and it has a history. It's been sold for over $200 on some websites. Earlier in 2021, I came across this copy on eBay for 20 I meant for $75 and I bought it because I have again, I never saw this before and I had a feeling I would never see it again, so I grabbed a copy of it. And what's even cooler about this one is it's also autographed by the lead singer. I know, again, this is an album that people do not like, and it's a band people do not like, but this is a rare album without a doubt. It's something I had been looking for for a very long time, so that's Let's Start a Riot by Blood on the Dance Floor. It has sold for over $200 in the past, and I have never seen it for sale until you know, when I bought it. So that is the first rarity of this video. Let's start a riot by Blood on the Dance Floor. The next one is a CDR. This is a mixtape that I bought a couple of years ago. As everyone knows, I'm a fan of Chief Keef. He's a rapper that I've been listening to since the seventh grade. And he released a mixtape back in 2017 called Thought Breaker. I know what some of you might be thinking, but that was never released on CD. How did you get a copy of it? Or, oh, that must be a bootleg. Well, actually, this is a really rare promo copy that was distributed privately by the label. One person who was affiliated with the label decided to bid this off in an auction on eBay, I ended up getting it. This does not have the same track listing as the real mixtape. This is instead an entire CDR of unreleased material. A lot of these tracks are not on YouTube. They're not on any MP3 websites. They are like literally not released anywhere. So I am one of the few people who's able to listen to these tracks. This is a really rare CDR is something that I got like I I found it just in time to place a bid on it and yeah it's mine now I own a, a CDR of unreleased Chief Keef music all the songs that are on this mixtape I meant on this CDR were cut from this mixtape so that's why it has the thought breaker artwork on it that's uh, another rarity for my collection Something that I will probably never see again. I got it for $20, if you can believe it. But the next CD, this is a black metal album that I bought off of Discogs a few years ago before I got banned. This is a CD that has been out of print for a few years now. I bought the last copy on Discogs and ever since I bought it it's pretty much disappeared from the internet. It's not for sale on any websites, it's not on eBay, it's not on Discogs anymore. This CD is like 
impossible to find now. Sadly, it wasn't a very favorite album. A lot of people didn't really care for it, but I consider it one of my favorite black metal records. The album is Spectral Summoning by Claustrophobia. This is a DSBM project from China, and yeah, it's an out-of-print album. It's something that I got just in time, so yeah. Also, another cool little detail about this is it comes with a lyric sheet. The lyrics are exclusive to the physical copy. The lyrics cannot be read anywhere online, so it's a cool piece of information. But that is Spectral Summoning by Claustrophobia, a really rare DSBM record. The next item in my collection is, okay, this is one that a lot of you are probably, you probably have no idea what this is, but... When I was in the, about to go to the sixth grade, there was a band performing at the mall for some kind of back to school festival. When I listened to them back then, I didn't care for them, but over time I started to enjoy their music more and more. And then the band apparently separated after their first album and they disappeared from the internet. So their CD is documented very poorly online. There is little to no proof of this CD existing a Aside from Facebook post about it, the album is Kickstart by Classic Addict. Despite this being a really unknown local band, it's in very professional packaging. Like, it has a full booklet, it's in a digipack, and everything. It's honestly kind of cool. These CDs were exclusively sold on their website and at their shows. I did get one of the CDs back in the day when I was at the festival at the mall, but unfortunately someone broke into our car and we ended up having to, we ended up losing it. So we didn't have the CD for many years and then I uncovered this copy of it at Goodwill a couple of years ago. So by surprise, I managed to get another copy of this really rare album. Good luck getting a hold of this one because I cannot name anyone else who owns a copy of it. It's a good album though, and I'd recommend listening to it if you're a fan of Southern rock music. Yeah, that's Classic Addict with their one and only Kickstart album. The next one, and I'm going to show the DVD this time because the next CD I'm going to show is a really valuable one to me. I would literally not sell it to anybody for any price because it is like that special. The next, well, the DVD that I'm going to show is, it's not the rarest thing ever. It's still not something that you would come across just randomly, but it is a relatively hard to find movie. It is none other than The Home Movies by Cage, which is a rapper that I like. I got this DVD for $40 back in 2019. After I bought this copy of it, I rarely saw it pop up again. It popped up one other time on Discogs for $125, but that was literally it. It also includes the Purple Rain Mix CD, which is exclusive to this DVD release. So, it's pretty cool. Cage does have a lot of really rare items, and this just so happens to be one of them. The lowest I've ever seen this sold for is maybe $25. It sold for $25 several years ago, but it's went up a lot in value over time. So, But again, if you ever see one of these for sale, it's more than likely going to be over $50, because every copy that I've seen ever since I bought it has been over $50. So, uh, yeah... It's a pretty cool DVD, has lots of great content on it, and the Purple Rain Mix CD is also a very underrated release by Cage as well. It's a release that nobody ever talks about. That is The Home Movies by Cage, really good um, movie and a really good mixtape. Next thing I'm going to show is a cassette tape. This is a unofficial cassette tape. I was looking on eBay trying to find other potential copies of it because my friend wanted it, and I saw a copy for, for sale for like $820. I don't know if it ever sold. I don't know if it's really worth that much but yeah people are willing to pay a good bit for this one the lowest i've seen it sold for is maybe around 90 dollars if i'm not mistaken but the release is also sprock varg vikernis by burzum this is just a compilation of demos and stuff like that 
There's not really much to say about it. But yeah, it's a pretty cool cassette tape nonetheless, and it is a relatively uh, valuable item, apparently. I'm not sure why it sells for so much, considering it's unofficial, but... I mean, it is what it is. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna show that super rare, valuable CD that is in my collection. A lot of you may know what this is, and a lot of you, especially if you're new to the channel, may not know what it is. It is none other than the J Big Apocalypse 2 by J Bigga. Again, J Big is literally like one of my top favorite artists. I love all of his material. This CD was selling on Amazon like years ago. Like there was one $8 copy for sale and that copy was apparently not even available and it wouldn't give me a refund, so I basically just kind of threw away $8 on it. Then somebody was selling it on eBay for $50 with $20 shipping, and I was like, all right, I gotta have it, so then I just bought it. Then I saw other copies of it selling on Amazon for around $180. This CD is worth a lot. This CD is limited to potentially less than 25 copies. I... I'm a huge fan of Jay Bigga, and I really love this album. Sadly, not many people really favored this one because, well, it's in a different style compared to his other records. But this is, as of now, unavailable on Amazon, eBay, and every other selling website. It is. It also has one track that would otherwise be lost if not for me owning this copy. Like, there's one track on here that's not on any streaming sites, on YouTube, or anywhere, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool, but yeah, that's the J Big Apocalypse 2, the prequel. This is a really rare album and something that I am really proud to have. There was a point when this was even like on display in my room a few years ago, but yeah. Like, you have no idea just how excited I was to open that CD back when I got it, back in the 10th grade. But yeah, that's the J Big Apocalypse 2, the prequel. The next CD, and this is one that a lot of you will be jealous of, because I have received messages on my Instagram about it, I've received comments on my YouTube about it. People are literally messaging me and trying to buy this CD off of me, because it's a really rare album, and... Even the band members themselves do not have a copy of this album. Oh yeah, and this J Biggest CD, people are also trying to buy this off of me, but I'm not willing to buy it for... I'm not willing to sell it for any price, though. I got, like, a fucking $200 offer for this CD a couple of months ago, so... I'm not kidding, this album is worth a lot. Anyway, I'm done talking about that one. This CD was selling for almost $200 as well on Discogs not too long ago. There was one copy for $200 and there was another copy for $175 if I'm not mistaken. This CD has only came up once or twice ever since I bought it. And I bought it, I got this copy by mistake actually, so it's kind of interesting. Anyway, the album is... Tonight by Millionaires. This is an amazing album. And, okay, here's what happened. Back in the 10th grade, I ordered a generic CDR Amazon copy of this album because those were available back then. I ordered from the used section. The person sent me the real one for $30. This was exclusively sold at um, concerts and on their website. I don't know how many of them exist, but this CD is something that rarely pops up, and when it does, it's insanely expensive. But yeah, that is Tonight by Millionaires. It is a really good album and a really rare one. Now, the next album is a DSBM record. Well, this is a demo. I actually bought this as an impulse buy, and I didn't even realize that this was rare until after it arrived. Release is Abandoning the Soul by Neckrite. This is, uh, Neckrite is a DSBM project that I learned about a few years ago, and 
after listening to their album, I went out and bought their demo, which was this one. And it was not submitted onto Discogs yet. It wasn't submitted onto... This was the only copy on eBay, and I was like, that's got to be a valuable album. And just as I suspected, it is... Um, the last time it sold, apparently on eBay, before I bought it, of course... It was selling for $70. I got this one for $20. It is copy number 61 out of 150. It comes with this tiny sheet of paper, which says the inspirations for the demo for their music and whatnot. So this is a pretty cool demo, and it's one of the rarest black metal pieces that I have in my collection. So that is Abandoning the Soul by Necrite. Also exclusive to physical media, there are no streams or digital copies of that demo anywhere online, so that's another cool piece of information. Sorry about that, my, uh, I ran out of storage, so I had to pull my phone down, but yeah, that is Abandoning the Soul by Necride. It is a really rare DSBM demo from my collection. Now I'm going to show a CD that I just recently got a hold of. So, as everyone knows, I'm a really big fan of LSP, Lyrical Snuff Productions. I try not to spend way too much on that website whenever I go and buy some things because there are so many awesome things that I want to get. They recently did a clearance sale now, on this clearance sale, they were selling rare albums, and they were selling new albums as well. In this clearance section, they were in the clearance because they had cracks on the cases and stuff like that, so apparently a really rare out-of-print CD was only $5 since it had a crack in the case. I obtained a copy of none other than... Diary of a Black Widow by Smalls One. If you're a Smalls One fan or you're a really uh, dedicated LSP fan, this is a CD that you probably look all over the place for. There is one person that I know in the Smalls One fan club on Facebook. He legitimately paid like $80 to get this CD a couple of years ago because it was the only copy available. This CD is really valuable and sadly it's not autographed. I wish it was, but it is unfortunately just a regular copy. This CD never goes up on eBay. I've never seen it on eBay before actually. I've never seen it on Discogs. I've never seen it on Music Stack. I have never seen a copy of this for sale even though I've been looking for it for several years but it was in the clearance section on Lyrical Snuff Productions simply because there is a small crack in the case. It is like I know it's kind of hard to see but there is absolutely no damage to this. It was still in the plastic when I got a hold of it. The only reason I didn't keep it in the plastic was simply because you know there's a crack in the case. But yeah Diary of a Black Widow by Smalls One. This is a LSP classic and this is something that a lot of diehard Smalls One fans are really trying to get a hold of. So yeah that is Diary of a Black Widow. I'm going to try to make it a little more clear because it's, it's kind of see through the CD case. This is the cover. It's still hard to see. All right. Kind of see it now. But yeah, it's Diary of a Black Widow by uh, Smalls One. And now possibly the rarest item in my collection as of now. As we all have seen now, I am a DSBM fan. I was a huge fan of it back in high school and I still listen to it every once in a while. I'm not as crazy about it as I used to be, but I still love the genre. But I own a lot of DSBM related material. This is potentially the rarest item in my collection, without a doubt. So, there's a DSBM project that I love called Rotting Coffin. It is a project that I learned about thanks to a friend. I did a review for their album, which is Black Candles and Cauldrons of Occult Evil, released back in 2019. I did a review for it. The review is unfortunately lost now. On that review, I said some positive things about it, a couple of negative things about it. The people behind the project got a hold of it, and they 
decided to just send me a free copy of it. They sent the copy like about a week after I did the review for it. And one really cool thing about it is that it is handmade. They printed out the artwork, they put a sticker on it, like this is a legitimately handmade copy of the album. There are only four of these in existence, and if I were to lose this one, I would probably never get a hold of it again. There's only four copies of this one, and there are... I believe 10 copies of their demos. Yeah, the release is Black Candles and Cauldrons of Occult Evil. I know it's kind of hard to see. My camera sucks. But only four copies exist of this uh, cassette tape. It's not on CD. It's not on vinyl. This was the only physical release of the album. So, pretty cool. But yeah, it's on a translucent cassette shell. And... It has a sticker and the information down there. It doesn't have a track listing or anything like that on it, but yeah, they didn't exactly have a budget to do that yet. So this is a copy of Black Candles and Cauldrons of Occult Evil by Rotting Coffin. It is a really rare DSBM album and something that I'm probably never going to see again if I lose my copy of it. Yeah. Yeah. This is a showcasing of a lot of the rare items within my collection. A lot of these are worth a lot. Some of these are worth hundreds of dollars. Some of them very rarely pop up. Some of them are so limited that they don't appear anywhere online anymore. These are a lot of my most valuable and some of my most rare items from my music collection. I would like to see what your collection looks like. If you own any really rare music like this, feel free to make a response video for me or whatever. I'd be really cool with that. I think it would be really interesting. But, yeah. These are really special to me. These are releases that I'm not willing to give or sell to literally anybody. I am really proud to own these and... I still, in a way, cannot believe I own some of these releases. Like, again, the Blood on the Dance Floor CD, the Jay Biggest CD. There's just... A lot of these are really impossible to get a hold of now. So, um, yeah. I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself, though. I am going to close this video, and, uh, yeah... I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all later. Have a great night. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, the links to my socials are in the description. And I have a brand new release on the way in December. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you all later. Have a great night. I hope you all enjoyed the video.